This is Michael with Inspection Engineering, and this is my friend Jason from OGP. Right. We're going to talk about the new uh, OGP Smart Scope E7. So, Jason, what's different about the E7 compared to what it's replacing? What, what are we replacing, I guess, first? Yeah, so the E7 is replacing the uh, Sprint MVP. Um, it's actually the first in a line of a uh, new family of Smart Scopes, the E Series. Uh, and the first model we're launching is the E7. Um, what's unique about this compared to the Sprint MVP, which was a mechanical zoom system, um, is this is a uh, fixed lens system, completely digital zoom. So some of the benefits of that are uh, instantaneous mag change um, and no moving parts um, within the optical system. So one of those benefits, um, I have to understand, without mechanical moving parts, this lens will last forever, where some of the zoom, if someone does frequent magnification changes, what happens to that zoom assembly over time? Yeah, there could, could wear over time. Uh, if you're running uh, lights out 24-7, um, you certainly could see that wear in the mechanical zoom. You won't have that with the SmartScope E7. Okay, great. And do we have any um, mechanical uh, or mag um, adjustments for these? Are there um, screw-on lenses? There are. There is an optional uh, 2X lens uh, that can come with the system. Um, and even within just, it's a fixed lens system, it does have five digital zoom positions. Five zoom positions, okay. So, so there is something different about the lighting. Tell me about what's different on the lighting on this system. Yeah, so two things. Um, one, the smart ring light on it um, is a full eight sector ring light. Previously on the Sprint MVP, uh, one of the sectors was taken up by the coaxial light, uh, which now goes through the optical system and allows for the full ring light to be used. Um, the other advantage uh, of the lighting on the system is you don't have to adjust the lighting at, when you change mag. So we talked about that five different digital zoom positions. As you increase the mag, uh, you don't have to adjust your lighting intensity at all. And traditionally, customers would have to really increase that intensity for a higher magnification. So that saves people time. Uh, it's also gonna make it easier to copy programs from one measuring machine to another because it's gonna be universal, uh, which I know traditionally for some customers has been difficult trying to match lighting intensity between different systems. Absolutely. And so now that we've got um, non-zoom, is this a, a true telecentric system? Absolutely. It's a fully telecentric uh, system, uh, which previously was only available on our high-end Quest system. Um, now on this uh, SmartScope E-Series system, uh, it's fully telecentric. So what does telecentric do? What customer cares about telecentricity? Yeah, so um, even if you're not perfectly in focus, uh, the size of your features will not change. Okay, so basically you don't have to be concerned about your working distance changing when you change your magnification. Correct, yep. So the camera, is this the same camera system that used to be on a Sprint? Uh, no, this has a much higher resolution camera. It's actually a six megapixel camera, um, which allows for great resolution on this optical system. How's the motion control go on this system? Yeah, so previously the Sprint MVPs had stepper motors, so a little bit slower to move the stage compared to this system, which has servo motors. Uh, so your programs will run a lot quicker with the servo motors compared to the stepper motors. Great. Sounds quieter too, is that true? Absolutely, that's, a, that's a, another side benefit yeah. of the servo motors. Quieter motors, quieter uh, lens, because there's no mechanical zoom. Yep, no moving parts. Okay. okay, so it looks like we've got more than just the camera working on this machine. What else is on this machine? Absolutely, um, so in addition to the camera and the multiple light sources, uh, you also have an optional touch probe. Um, so, so for measurements um, that don't lend themselves to video, uh, such as cylinders where you truly want to see the axis of the feature, you have an optional touch probe that can be either a TP20 or TP200. Great, great. And I also, talking about software, uh, you mentioned this is running the MeasureX software. What's the new version called? Yes, yeah, so it's the new version 8 of MeasureX software. Okay, and then version 8, I think you told me, has something added to it uh, that I think a lot of users are going to be excited to hear about. Yeah, so previously with MeasureX, uh, you could get MeasureFit, uh, which was a secondary software to do 2D GD&T fitting, uh, things such as profile. Um, now that is embedded directly into MeasureX, um, it's an optional um, feature within the software to be able to do 2D fitting. That's great, that's great. And it's also gonna save the users a lot of clicking between two different software packages because everything is in one Absolute. software package. Absolutely, it's a huge benefit. So. Great, I think that's all. Jason, thanks for the intro. Yeah, no problem. And check us out, uh, learn more about OGP from our website.